Alak Benzai. Benzai. Do you think Iran will retaliate with more advanced ballistic missiles? Yes. And by the way, gang, uh, I mean, we have we talked about Gaza a little bit. We haven't talked about Israel and Gaza and Iran too much because we all know what's going on. We've covered this up the yin yang, right? My guess is, from what I understand, Iran's having a meeting with the Islamic states today. Is that true? Right? Is that true? Uh, if a retaliation is going to happen, okay if i was gonna bet on it let's say if you know if they gave us a bet of la next seven days in the next week which day do you think the attack will happen and here's the odds right i would be betting on it happening tomorrow friday okay because in iran friday if i recall correctly friday is the holiday on half thursday you get off and friday you get off so if they're gonna do a fireworks show they might want everyone to be home for this, right? Or maybe they do it when everybody's gone to work already, right? Where the military personnel are at work because they have to man the stations to do what they need to do, right? But I think it's going to be uh, taking out infrastructure. We've talked about this before. I think the smartest... Uh, uh, you know, I'm pro peace. I'm not for war or anything like this. But if I was waging this war, I would take out the ports and the airports. Ports and the airports. At least one of the main ones of each. Right? Shut down the country. Right? So my guess is they'll take out at least one port and maybe one airport or maybe multiple ports, multiple airports. Okay. Uh, and if I was in Israel, I'd be getting the F out get out get out and if you're a full-blown zionist please stay where you are if you're a full-blown zionist in support of genociding palestinians and torturing legally to like what like seriously like we don't even need to go there anymore right we all know what zionism zionist israel is now the veil was lifted a while ago for me right but it's lifted for everyone now. They're a genocidal, psychopathic nation. And in my humble opinion, all those Zionists that support Israel, genocide, torturing, torture being legal for them to do against anyone that's not Zionist, not Jewish, you guys should stay in Israel. Please do not leave Israel. Okay. I would I would rather not have Nazis living near me. Okay. That's my personal opinion. Okay. I'm selfish in that aspect. Okay. Yeah. It's crazy. It's a vile nation. Vile nation. Makes makes Nazis roll in their grave. They're like Bam! All we have to do was say we're Jewish and we could do all this stuff. Well, what? That's crazy. And by the way, keep this in mind. The people that are opposing what's going on in Israel, the hardest, the most vocal people in the Western world that are opposing the Zionist state of Israel and what Zionists are doing in Israel and what Zionists are doing in the name of Judaism or Jews. Jews that know what is happening are opposing Israel, opposing the Zionists. So you got to give full respect to them, man. You got to give full respect to them. There's an interview that Chris Hedges just did with someone who's Jewish, and he's disgusted with what Israel's doing. He's like, he's a hardcore anti Zionist, right? Uh, there's Aaron Maté, there's Max Blumenthal, there was Gabor Maté, there's Gideon Levy, uh, so many, so many Jewish journalists and human rights activists and academics and stuff like this oppose what Israel is doing as they rightfully should. But Israel's a deep shit. This goes back to what I stated. I don't think Israel will survive as a nation. And unfortunately, I think the promised land might be counting the United States for them, really. 
Okay, I hope it's not. I live here. I don't want it. I don't want to be living under Zionist occupation. We already know what they do to those who aren't Zionists, right? I don't want to have things stuck up my bum, right? Because according to them, it's okay to do that to non-Jews, right? And that includes children, by the way. Zionist Israel, Israelis, Israelis, let's wrap our heads around this. Everyone in Israel has to serve in the IDF, has to serve in the military. Unless they get exemptions, now no one gets exemptions as far as I know. They all have to serve in the IDF. So all of Israelis, right, it's in their doctrine now that, and it has been for a very long time, that they're allowed to torture and rape not just men and women, but also children. Okay. They do this to children as well. So, uh, what do you say to that shit? Right. Adam Hinden, as a Jew, I am disgusted by the Zionist entity and will not set foot in that land until Palestine's free for the, from the river to the sea. Yeah. Yeah. I, man i i i have i don't have any answers i have no idea how you can because majority of israelis support this right 85 percent. there was nine million people living in israel right what is that nine let's say 80 percent of nine million right 80 percent seven 7.2 million Israelis here are hardcore Zionists and are okay with torturing men, women, and children as long as they are not Jewish, right? And I tell you the truth, I, don't, I think they're okay with torturing Jews as well if they think that Jewish person is anti-Zionist, right? So that 80, 85%, right? They're Zionists. And all of how do you how do you reprogram and spans like multiple gender how do you reprogram those people into joining the human race because as far as i'm concerned that's inhumane what they are doing that is part of their identity now and it has been for multiple generations how do you unprogram them I don't know. And that's just the ones that are in Israel. There's a shit ton of them in the United States and Canada. How, and Europe. How, how do you deprogram it? What do you, I don't know. How would you do it? LSD? All of them for... And it's not... You can't do one trip. Right? Uh, you, you could. You could. It would take a lot of work. The whole world would have to be involved. And everyone in Israel would have to go through a year of LSD... Uh, uh, LSD experience, a year, year of DMT experience, and a year of Salvia Divinorum experience. Three years of three of the most powerful psychedelics that I know of, right? And mushrooms in there too, because I have to deal with their emotions. LSD will deal with emotions a little bit, but not like mushrooms, right? DMT and Salvia Divinorum will prove to them that there's more than what they think, right? LSD and mushrooms will deal with their emotional trauma and the trauma they've caused to the rest of the world right so four years of psychedelic hardcore psychedelic deprogramming required for 7.2 million people hell that's a great business model right i'd invest in a psychedelic company if that came to be right flood israel with mushrooms that should be a chant all right because they sure as hell don't know what it means to be human that's that's a given and you need psychedelics to understand what it means to be human Okay, really, on that level, once you've broken, once, once, once you annihilated it, you're going to have to build it back up again. Promise, you can't reprogram, it's over for, at least you can reprogram future generations coming up, right? Something needs to be done because this is a cancer on humanity. It's a cancer on the world. It's going to, it's bringing the world to the brink of nuclear war. Why are we allowing... A colonial state, 9 million people and their supporters, 9 million plus a few million their supporters, because they want to torture, ethnically cleanse a region and commit genocide 
on the indigenous population why are we allowing them to bring the world to the brink of nuclear war why why no one's answered that question to me just because they bought our politicians why are we allowing them why are we allowing them right don't we have children that we love loved ones that we want to care care for why are we allowing them doesn't make sense to me it really doesn't it really doesn't